Sometimes when we're doing calibrations on our ADOS systems, it's gonna require a couple additional steps. Maybe something you didn't know or didn't realize, such as the case for Ford. Anytime you replace a module on a Ford that is ADOS related, you're going to need to perform some special steps to be able to tell the vehicle that you replaced it and essentially the vehicle knows I have that module again. If you do not do this, you can create an additional problem that wasn't there before that could cost you serious time and diagnostics on just something you didn't know about. That's what we're gonna show you next. In the case of ADOS, anytime you replace an ADOS component, you're going to need to program it. And there's a couple steps that the ADOS link can do. You don't need to go looking for an additional scan tool. It's all built into my ADOS link. Sometimes if let's say you have a windshield that has been severely damaged and you find that the camera itself has also been damaged and will need replaced. That's what we're gonna walk through today. This could also apply for other modules such as a front radar or other components related to ADOS. But in the case of the windshield, we're gonna say that the windshield was damaged and that the camera also needed replaced. You might think it's just a camera, I can just calibrate it. That isn't the case on this. On these, we will have to tell the vehicle that A, I'm taking it out and B, I'm putting it back in. Let's go through that process on replacing our image processing camera A or our camera on our windshield. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and go to diagnostics and select auto ID and get the vent for this vehicle, which is an XLT. Now, please keep this in mind. Before I cycle the ignition, this applies for all Ford vehicles, not just an F-150 that we're showing today. The Ford behind me is just a representation of all Ford vehicles. You need to do this with all of them anytime you replace a module. This procedure can be found in a couple different areas on the ADOS link. You can find it in special tests and you can also find it in your ADOS calibration. And since we're going to go ahead and show you the programming of the camera, I'm selecting ADOS calibration. And we know we're gonna replace the front facing camera. It's important to remember this next step is done before you remove and replace the camera. I'm going to select the camera in here. We have our camera calibration, but we also have two other choices. We have PMI manual configuration, and we also have programmable module installation. We're gonna select the latter of those three right now and go through that. Once you select this, it's gonna tell you, hey, this is used when a module is being removed from the vehicle and a new module is installed, as in the case of our camera up there. What this is going to do right now is gonna take all of the existing data that that camera has, it's going to save it to my tablet and be used later when I reinstall the camera. It's gonna give you a couple options. Read configuration data from the ECU or write it. At this point, all we wanna do is read it because that's the first step. So we're gonna read the configuration data from the ECU. It's gonna ask you to enter the last five, six digits of the VIN numbers only. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. So right now it's reading the information from the module and it's gonna save it at this point. It says it was successfully completed. It successfully saved that data at this point. This file will be retained through power cycles and through software updates, so it's not going anywhere, which is nice to know. After this, it kicked us back out. The data has been saved at this point. Now, what you need to do is go ahead, R&R &R the camera, put it back in, go back into your ADOS calibration, go back into front-facing camera, select the last one again, the module installation, and then this is where we're gonna get our option at this point to write the data to the new camera module.
So we're gonna write the data to the new ECU. At this point, you would press continue. Everything should go in and you're all set. And don't forget, once you're done replacing the camera, go ahead and go through your calibrations. Thanks for watching.